Hello guys namaste welcome back to Andrew Tricks before i start this video a happy new year to each one of you watching this video i hope you have a great year ahead welcome to the first video of 2019 as the title suggests i am going to talk about the tips and tricks of the Asus Zenfone Max Pro M2 the ui on this device is stock android and by stock i mean they have literally added nothing on the ui so there are no customization options whatsoever so this tips and tricks video is going to be a bit different than what i usually show so without wasting any further time let's get started if you have seen my initial impressions video you might know that the notch on this device is really annoying because of its size i link the video down in the description box below so that you can watch that one out after you are done with this video anyway to overcome that problem i found a way to hide the notch on this device even though the option is not available by default in the os you just have to install the application notch or notch from the play store from the link given in the description box below once you have installed it you have to add it to your quick settings enable the option and tap the notification to go into the settings once you are in the settings change the size to 82 which will hide the notch completely i would also recommend you to enable the rounded corners option but that is optional now if you go back you will see the notch is blacked out but still has the necessary details here's a side by side comparison before and after using the application Although the phone is based on stock Android it has two settings of Zen Motion which is the UI of Asus which can be found in settings systems gestures Zen Motion here you can enable the option to double tap to wake or double tap to sleep these are the shortcuts for your device I personally love the double tap to wake feature a lot and I always want it on all the devices which I use The third trick is to install the Google camera on your device and for that you have to use your computer. I have already made a dedicated video on the same so I won't go into the details as it actually needs an entire video in itself to show the entire process. Please check the link in the bio or click here to watch that video. Once you'll install you will be able to use the portrait mode in the front camera along with the night sight feature which was launched in the Pixel 3. This phone comes with stock Android and has no customization options whatsoever. I personally like the back button on the right side of the screen and the recent tab on the left side, but since this phone does not offer any customization, I had to find a work around and I did. You just have to install Fluid and .g and enable it. Once you are done, you will be able to navigate by using gestures as you can see on the screen right now. It is very fluid and I really love this type of navigation rather than these buttons which I cannot customize. As the phone screen keeps getting bigger and bigger, it becomes equally hard to navigate from the navigation bar to the top of the phone. A lot of phones offer a feature wherein you can use your fingerprint sensor as an option to bring down the notification panel. This phone doesn't offer it, but I found a beautiful application to get that on your device. Download the fingerprint gesture app from the link given below and just give the app the access which it needs. Once done you can simply tap on the fingerprint to access the notification bar on your device. It's really simple and I use it all the time on this device as you can see on the screen right now. Now although this device has stock Android it doesn't come with the wallpapers which you have on your Pixel 2 and the Pixel 3. I'm talking about the live wallpapers which you might have seen on a lot of devices which I show on the channel. Anyway, to get the Pixel 2, Pixel 3 wallpapers on your device, you just have to install two applications which are linked below. Now click and hold on the home screen, press wallpapers and you can just choose from the plethora of new options which you'll see there. Now as the phone doesn't have an option for customization in the stock launcher I would highly recommend you to install the Nova launcher to bring more options it can make your device look really amazing just wait and watch from this to this there are tons of customization options in the Nova launcher unlike the Zenfone Max Pro M2 UI If you want to get this exact UI which I showed on the screen right now then download the wallpaper and the icon pack from the link given below 
The notification panel on the Zenfone Max Pro M2 is really messy. A lot of icons are there all over the place as I mentioned in my initial impressions video. Also there's no customization option in the UI so I would recommend you to change it by installing PowerShade application which brings the Android Pie UI to your device. As you can see years of before and years after and I am sure the after looks really amazing. This application was recently removed from the Play Store for unknown reasons so I have linked it down in the description box below which you can use to directly download this application on your device. Once you install it this is how it looks as I showed you earlier which is way better. So that's pretty much for this video guys I hope you enjoyed it. You can share this tips and tricks with all your friends who have got the M2 Pro. I'm really sure it will help them out. Also, this was finally the first video of 2019. I plan to upload a lot more videos than I did in 2018, which would be pretty easy because I just uploaded 27 videos in 2018. Anyway, if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button and also press the bell icon so that you get notified every time I upload a new video. See you guys in the next one.